there's a lot of talk among the expat community that it, it will turn into a Phuket, like oh. we will lose the island feel. It's nice, but I guess I like it here more. If I had to choose, Phuket. Lovely place, the beach is very good, the food is very good but it's too big. We are in Koh Samui, Thailand. In this episode, we're gonna find out which island is better, Phuket or Koh Samui. So this episode we call Phuket versus Koh Samui. I was born in Samui, but my parents are Egyptian Turkish. All right. So that makes me like a mix of everything. But you're basically local. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, they don't consider me local, so ah, I don't know. And say your name once more. Patel. Patel. Hey, have you been in Phuket at all? Yes, I have. Yes. Uh, I lived there for a few months. Okay. Um, the differences between Samoa and Phuket is crazy. Like, it's a bigger island, more people, more tourists, yeah. more attractions. If I had to choose, yeah. Phuket. Ah, why? For, like, entertainment-wise. Ah. Yeah, well that's the thing. I'm basically making this video also for people who have never been to Thailand before and want to come and uh, maybe have to choose between these two islands. So you were saying uh, if you come from outside of Thailand? Yeah, I would go to Phuket for like, oh. to get the Thailand experience. Yeah. Samoa is more like younger people. I feel like both, both islands are for young people, but I feel like Samoa is really like the hippie life. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pangan yeah. in Samoa is like the hippie life. Uh. Phuket is more like... Party. Can you recommend a place in Phuket? What, what are you going for? Uh, I don't know. Let's say oh, you, you're calling the, the, let's say the hippie more like that's here in Samui and Phuket maybe a bit more lively. But there's also family vibes there as well. So yeah. I, but it yeah. Depends where in Phuket. I'm not. I was more towards the like international um, students oh, area. Okay. So and that's where. Oh, it's been a long time, I don't remember, but more like Patong and yeah. like the left side of Phuket, yeah. most, mostly, you know, the Bo Avenue and the central yeah. area, yeah. that's it, that's all I know. Now how about here in Koh Samui? I like central, central's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. um, I come here weekly, okay. it's like a daily routine for me. Yeah, um, but you're doing like shopping and uh, yeah. eating a little bit here and there or? Yeah, I'm here. I was gonna buy perfume there over there. Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so yeah, shopping. <laughs> yeah. Um, for couples, more like Lamai. I see a lot of families in Choeng. Especially when I was early 20s, I've been uh, partying quite a bit in Phuket. How's the party scene here in Koh Samui? Oh, it's a bit boring. Because oh, yeah? I'm used to it. I live ah. here, so I'm... Are there major clubs here? Are there big... Mm -mm. There's a thing called the Bermuda Triangle, which is green mango, sound club and hush we like my friends will call it the bermuda triangle because we would go it's like in a triangle yeah, 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 yeah. so you would like hop between those clubs wow that's good information so, there thank you so much the bermuda triangle yeah. <laughs> in phuket i was one month in the south of phuket in hawaii and here i'm like two weeks okay because uh, some is much better much better oh why do you say that uh, because like I, I drive with the motorbike and, and the drive is really short and the beaches are much prettier. You have like everything and it's really close to each other. Two weeks here and you're saying that... I will stay one month in total. Ah, okay. Yeah. And, and then I go, I'm going to the Philippines. How come you uh, are able to stay here for such a long time? Uh, so basically I, I'm doing like a visa run. I was in uh, Vietnam before. Just traveling. Yeah, this is what I'm doing in my life basically. What did you like better in Phuket? Uh, in Phuket what I like? Uh, the condos. I live like in a condo, which is really nice. We have like a gym inside and everything. Here it's a bit dif difficult to find a condo. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is the thing that I like a bit more. Well, I think Chiang Mai is number one. Number two is the Kosamoy. Uh, Phuket is in down. Oh, yeah. wow, wow, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Love and peace, man, love and peace, totally. Love each other, respect each other. We have so many wars in the world right now, so just love and peace and respect each other. Have you been to Phuket at all? Yes, yeah. a few times. For leisure, for a holiday? Yeah. How do you like Phuket? Um, it's nice, but I guess I like it here more. It's a bit too big for me there. What's so good about Koh Samui then? Um, I guess I have a lot of friends here yeah. and just like personal connections with the island. For tourists who have never been here before, what's the best thing about Koh Samui? Um, I guess it's the the beach and the people. Is there something that is maybe not so pleasant or something that was better in Phuket than in Koh Samui? Better in Phuket? Um, surfing. It's better in Phuket? Yeah, oh. you can't really surf here. Oh, okay. And how about diving? 
diving. You can't really dive in Samui. I guess the visibility is not that great. Oh. So I go to Gotao for diving. Oh, yeah. But Phuket's also really nice there. But, I mean, Gotao is around the corner here. Yeah. 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 But it's not really in Samui, you know what I yeah. mean? What's the best area in Koh Samui? Or which area do you like the best? Um, I like Chowing Beach. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. The most popular one. The most popular. But also there's like some quiet corners. I live here for a few years already. My choice is, is Samui. But you've been to Phuket also? Yes, sometimes. Have you lived in Phuket at all? Or? No, just one, maybe two weeks, one month. Do you like Phuket though? Mm, not really. No. So crowdy and shout and like a big city, you know. I was traveling looking for a spot to live. Okay. I was traveling uh, from India, Vietnam, Burma, Thailand and then want to go to Indonesia, Australia, New Zealand. Okay. And I stuck here. I know that I don't need to search anymore. No. So you were searching something. What were you searching? I was searching for a place where it will be easy, ah. it will be comfortable for me. And why Samui? What's so good about Koh Samui? Balance between civilization, nature, locals, how they think, how they move. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? <laughs> it's not easy. Love each other, people. Make love, not work. I've been living here for eight and a half years now. And okay. basically when I got here, I had never been in Thailand before. Yeah. So you could technically say that I'm still on my first trip to Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a little bit of a longer one. I've been considering moving to Bangkok, Phuket, or other places or going back to Finland, but I've never really had a good enough reason to go, so. Have you been to Phuket though? I have, yeah. I have, yeah. How long have you been there? And I've only visited for like a few days, like a long weekend. How did you like Phuket? It's too busy. <laughs> what was the, the good thing about Phuket? It's such a, such a big place compared to Samui. You have all the different sides of the place. Like if you're looking for more people, you have that on one part of the island, I'm sure. My, short was, my trip was very short, so I didn't really get to explore the different areas. Okay. So honestly, my opinion of Phuket is very limited to okay. one part of the island. So I'm sure there's still peace and quiet and island feel at some parts of Phuket. Yeah. And what's the best thing about Koh Samui? We have one shopping mall. You still can get everything you need from here. Um, but you still have beautiful beaches. And if you are willing to go a little bit further away or if you're willing to wake up early in the morning, you can go to waterfalls without there being anyone else there. You still get those beaches where it's not busy. Here now as uh, some way is getting busier, uh, there's a lot of talk among the expat community that it, it will turn into a Phuket, like oh. we will lose the island feel okay. and it will just become this kind of like a city that just happens to be on, a, on an island. Wow, okay, so is that happening already you think? It's been a really, really busy high season this year, but I think we still definitely have the island feel. It's still a tropical island and it doesn't feel like a city, but there's, there are people who are concerned about that yeah. moving forward. What's the favorite, your favorite place here in Koh Samui? Mm, uh, when it comes to areas, I love Lamai because that's where I live. But if I had to name a favorite spot, that would be the top of Namuang to Waterfall early in the morning when no one's there. In Koh Samui, this is my 12th time. I've been here from uh, 2006, almost every year except the Corona. I was in Phuket also four times. Uh, I prefer Koh Samui. And why is that? because the, all the atmosphere is it's a different. Phuket is a big island. I don't like the, all the noise over there in the city. In the beach, it's, it's uh, different, but in the city, I don't like it. Here, it's, it's more small and uh, very comfortable. You have everything by, by walk. The traffic and everything, it's uh, too busy over yeah. there. And it's, uh, but not here, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Even the, the north in Koh Samoy. I was in Koh Phangan, in Kota also, but yeah. Uh, Koh Samui, I love it. What's the best area you think here in Koh Samui? I love the Chowang and also the fish, uh, fishman. Fishman uh, village? Yeah, ah. the, it's a very nice place. It's a member a little bit to Europe, Greek, the island of Greek, Rhodus and something Santorini ah. like this, yeah. The first time that I was in Phuket, I was in, uh, in the city. Okay. All the bars and everything, a lot of noise. I was young, it was good for me. Before one, two months, I was in the, in the south of Phuket with my friends. Lovely place, the beach is very good, the food is very good, but it's too big. In Koh Samoy, you have everything, but in small place. Yeah. You want massage, you want food, you want bicycle, you want yeah, motorcycle, you want to make a trip, you, you, make, you make a boat, you have everything. Is there something missing in Samoy? 
If they have casino here, I'm not uh, playing, but if they have casino, there's more people that will come and they get more money. But I don't know if, if by the religion it's... Uh, I don't think it's possible. Uh, yeah. by, uh, but the cannabis make, make, make them a lot of, a lot of money. Yeah, a lot, a lot yeah, of people... Yeah. Actually, only in Copangan, before a long time ago, there's a bar over there by, by the name Amsterdam. <laughs> and you can buy marijuana there. Yeah, you go over there and you're sitting over there. No, no police, no, everybody knows, but yeah. it's, it's good. Before, uh, three, four years ago, after the corona, they start with the cannabis. They make a lot of uh, a lot of people that came. But, you know, drugs, uh, cards, casino make crime. Yeah. So they have, they have to be careful with this. I've got one more question. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? To the world? Peace. We want peace, you know, all over the world, peace. It's, it's, it's terrible what is going on all over the world, even in Israel, even in Russia, in Ukraine, even in, in all over the world. Peace and make the good life because we live only one time. So take the life that this is the very important, not killed, not the land, not, not but nothing. Peace and enjoy. Phuket versus Koh Samui. Keep the conversation going in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Hey, this channel is based in Thailand. We're showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia and we're meeting a lot of interesting people along the way. We're going soon to Cambodia to carry on our journey in Southeast Asia. I'd like to say from Koh Samui in Thailand, bye for now and stay chan.